Yes, brother. Mic number one in the front. Dr. Jakir Naik, sir. I will say to you with a great deal. My name is Eshudas. So, my question is this way, that Islam gives so much to do and why? Brother, that was the question that how many marriages are permitted in Islam and why? Referring to the polygamy. I want to know how much of the Quran in the Quran होना चाहिए और कितना नहीं होना चाहिए। According to the Quran, how many marriages can you do? As far as the woman is concerned, according to Surah Nisa, chapter number four, verse number twenty to twenty-four, a married woman cannot marry again, so women should have only one husband maximum. As far as the other is concerned, Quran says in Surah Nisa, chapter number four, verse number three, marry women for choice in twos, threes, or fours, but if you can't do justice, marry only one. You can marry two, three, or four. But if you can't do justice, marry only one. This statement, marry only one if you can't do justice, is only given in the Quran. There's no other scripture on the face of the earth which says marry only one besides the Quran. If you read the Ramayan, if you read the Mahabharat, you can marry as many wives as you want. If you read Ramayan, the father of Ram, how many wives he had? He had more than one wife. Krishna, if you read Mahabharat, how many wives he had? Two, four, ten, thousand, ten thousand, sixteen thousand, one hundred and eight wives. So when Krishna can have 16,108 wives, so why can't we Muslims have up to four? If you read the Bible, in the Old Testament as the New Testament, you can marry as many wives as you wish. Solomon had 700 wives. Abraham had three wives according to the Bible. It is the church which put up a limit. Christians should marry only one. It is Rabbi Ben Shimgan Hauda who passed a synod that Jews should marry only one. In India, it is the Indian Penal Code in 1954, which passed a law in Hindu Marriage Act, which said that Hindus should marry only one. It is the Indian Penal Code, not the Hindu scripture, which says that Hindus should have only one wife. Let's analyze what are the reasons that Islam gives permission for a man to have more than one wife. Marrying more than one wife is not compulsory in Islam, it's optional. But if you marry more than one wife, you should do justice between your wives. The logical reasons we can think that Islam has given permission are that male and female are born in equal proportion. But if you ask any medical doctor, any pediatrician, he will tell you that the girl, the female child, is the stronger sex medically as compared to the male child. She can fight the germs and diseases much better than a male child. So more female children are alive as compared to male children. As life goes on, there is death due to war, due to accident, due to cigarette smoking, due to alcohol. In all these cases, more male are dying as compared to female. So today in the world, there are more females in the world as compared to males. In few third world countries like India, etc., where the female population is less than the male population because of female infanticide and female feticide. Every year in India, more than one million fetuses are being aborted after they identified that they are females. If this evil practice stops, even in India, the male population will become less than the female population. In New York alone, there is one million female more than male. In USA alone, there are 7.8 million female more than male. In UK alone, there are 4 million female more than male. In Germany alone, there are 5 million female more than male. In Russia alone, there are 9 million female more than male. And God alone knows how many millions of females are more than male throughout the world. If I agree with you that one man should only marry one woman, and suppose the market is saturated, and if your sister happens to live in America, or my sister happens to live in America, and if she happens to be one of the 7.8 million females who has not found a life partner, the only option for her is that she either marries a man who already has a wife, or she becomes public property. Public property, such a harsh word. This is the most sophisticated word I can use. I cannot think of a better word than this. And any modest woman would say that if the option is given, she would prefer marrying a man who already has a wife or become public property. Hope that answers the question. We will not allow any further questions. But the volunteers are pointing out someone. This was the last question actually, but we will allow that Shahada and inshallah we will carry on with the other program. Please. Do you believe there is one God? Brother. Hello. And the first do you believe there is one God? Kya mante khudai ke? Hello, my salam alaikum. Do you believe there is one God? Kya mante ke khudai ke? Yeh ke kar kar ko ekin rakta hu. 
آپ مانتے کہ اب محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم آخری پیغمبر ہے ہاں مانتا ہوں آپ مانتے آپ پہ کوئی زبردستی کر رہا ہے اسلام قبول کرنے کے لیے کوئی آپ پہ زبردستی کر رہا ہے نہیں آپ اپنے مرضی سے قبول کرنا چاہتے ہیں کیونکہ انشاءاللہ بہت دے برادرز انشاءاللہ دے کن سی دے شادہ آل جیس سے ان عربک اور انہوں کن ریپیٹ اٹ اور دن ویکن آب دے نیکس سیشن اشدو اشدو اللہ اللہ الہا الہا الا اللہ الا اللہ و اشدو و اشدو انہ انہ محمدن محمدن عبدہو عبدہو و رسولہو و رسولہو میں گوائی دیتا ہوں میں گوائی دیتا ہوں کہ اللہ اللہ کے علاوہ इलावा कोई माबूद नहीं कोई माबूद नहीं और और मोहम्मद मोहम्मद सल्लल्लाह सल्लल्लाह अलैहि वसल्लम अलैहि वसल्लम उसके बंदे उसके बंदे और पैगंबर है और पैगंबर है माशाल्लाह आप मुसलमान हो चुके अल्लाह आपको ज़ादा ख़ैर दे और अल्लाह आपको हिदायत दे और मैं दुआ करूँगा कि अल्लाह आपको जन्नत آپ اپنا نام عمر رکھ سکتے ہیں عمر جزاک اللہ خیر it was a wonderful session انشاءاللہ we'll have the dua but before that a very short session we have most of our distinguished guests and distinguished speakers who have come from various countries present here I request them to kindly come on stage before Sheikh Salah Al-Budair would present his dua may I request I'll call out the names, but I would request you before your name is called out, kindly move up. All the distinguished speakers who have been officially invited by us, kindly move on to the stage and form a semicircle along with uh, Brother Zakir. I'll just repeat the names. Brother Sheikh Abdul Rahim Green of UK. I request all the speakers without a name being called, please come on the stage, please. All the speakers, all the 30 speakers who have spoken for 10 days. Brother Abdul Rahim Green, UK, Yasir Fazaga, USA. Sheikh Yasir Qadi, USA, Sheikh Hosseini, Malaysia, Sheikh Salim Alamri, UAE, Sheikh Saeed Raghi of Somalia, Sheikh Asim Al-Hakim, Saudi Arabia, Sheikh Yusuf Estes, USA, Dr. Jafar Idris, Sudan, Brother Yusuf Idris, Sudan, Dr. Zaglul Al-Najjar, Egypt, Sheikh Abdurrahim McCarthy, USA, Sheikh Yahya Ibrahim, Australia, Sheikh Abdul Bari Yahya, USA, Sheikh Haitam Al-Haddad, UK, Brother James Yee from USA, Sheikh Arib Islam, South Africa, Sheikh Jimmy Jones, USA, Dr. Ahmad Ibn Saifuddin, Saudi Arabia, Mr. Iqbal Sakrani, UK, and of course from India we have Farik Naik, Dr. Shuaib Sayyid, Brother Nisar Nadiyadwala, Brother Atar Khan, and lastly, Dr. Zakir Naik. All on stage before you, let us give them a big ovation, recognition for all they have been doing for the last 10 days. They have been busy not only on this ground and in the AC auditorium before you, but in television talks which they have been recording all along. I would request the honored guests from abroad and India who are with us here to kindly stand on the sides of the speakers as they speak to give them encouragement and give them a warm, hearty send-off before this last session. I request with the Bandar al Raji, Saudi Arabia, Mana Joseph, Saudi Arabia, Muhammad Nasser Al Mozari, Oman, Yusuf Muhammad Najabi, uh, UAE, and the others from UAE, Ibrahim Fayyaz Al Shamsi, Hassan Muhammad Al Rahman. I request Brother Salman Fazlur Rahman from Bangladesh, Shayan Fazlur Rahman from Bangladesh. I would request, in fact, all the others who have been invited by us as the honored guests to kindly come up on the stage without me actually spending more time with the audience calling you up. Please. I would request specially, we have the ambassador of Saudi Arabia to India, Ambassador Extraordinary, Sheikh Faisal bin Hassan Tarad amongst us, I request him to kindly move up on the stage, along with Brother Abdul Monem Al Mahmoud, the Vice Consul General of Saudi Arabia, to kindly come on stage and let us hear the speakers present the concluding remarks, after which we would have dua by Sheikh. Salah al -Budair. I would request Sheikh Ali al Abbasi to also come up on stage. May I request the others who have also been part of our program, the Nasheed artist, Brother Abdullah Role of UK, and all the Qaris to kindly come up on stage. Sheikh Salah al Bukhatir from UAE, Sheikh Abdul Fattah al Taruti from Egypt, Sheikh Al Sayyid Ibrahim Muhammad from Egypt, and the others. Please forgive me if I missed out any of our honored guests. Kindly come up on stage so we can start the session right away. We have a short time. I'd request our distinguished speakers to present their brief 
concluding remark in approximately a minute or so, so that we give all the speakers a chance to present their remarks. We start with the same list in my hand. Brother Abdul Rahim Green from UK would request you to come on mic. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Wa alaikum wa salam wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh. Brothers and sisters, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you so much uh, for turning up, coming to this peace conference, and for giving us a, such a beautiful, warm reception here in India, in this mashallah very warm country, alhamdulillah. It's been a real pleasure spending these days here. Alhamdulillah. Allahu Akbar. It's been a real pleasure spending these days here in India in this fantastic conference. It is really something for the whole of India to feel proud about. This fantastic conference uh, organized by these fantastic people here. May Allah bless all the volunteers, all the helpers, all the workers, and of course, Dr. Zakir Naik. Jazakallah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi Dr. Jafar Idris. From Sudan. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says, "Waladina jahadu fina la nahdiyannahum subunana." Allah Subhanahu wa Taala promised for those who make jihad for His sake. Make jihad means strive, strive for His sake. Then He will certainly guide them to His ways. This means that anyone who believes in the Creator, whether he is a Muslim or a non-Muslim, if he turns to that Creator and sincerely asks him to guide him to the right path, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala promised that he will do so. Sheikh Yasser Fazaga from USA, California. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. In the name of Allah, the compassionate, the most merciful, all praises due to Allah. And may his peace and blessings be upon our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The theme of this conference has always been regarding peace, revolving around the concept of peace. Please, let's all establish peace in our hearts by having a proper relationship with our Creator. And let's start in peace by making sure that we have peace in our families. To the people of India, you should be very proud of this conference. This is the biggest conference in the world, in the Muslim world today. And for this, say congratulations. May Allah bless you. May Allah bless all your efforts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Sheikh Yasser Qadi from USA. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah. آپ لوگوں میں سے بہت زیادہ لوگ نے مجھ سے درخواست کیا کہ میں آپ کو اردو زبان میں خطاب کروں میں ذرا شرماتا ہوں چونکہ اردو میری مادری زبان نہیں ہے ماں کی زبان ہوگی لیکن مادری زبان نہیں ہے اور دوسری بات ہے یہ کانفرنس تو انگریزی میں کیا جاری ہے تو اس لیے اردو مناسب نہیں ہے لیکن انشاءاللہ میں اللہ تعالیٰ سے دعا کرتا ہوں تمنا رکھتا ہوں کہ ایک دن انشاءاللہ میں پھر سے آؤں گا اور آپ کو پورا ایک لیکچر اردو میں ہی دوں گا جو میسیج میں چھوڑ and that is worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone and do that worship based upon the sunnah of the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and that is the message of our religion and that is the message of the kalima la ilaha illallah muhammadur rasulullah may Allah azza wa jal unite us all upon this kalima and bless all the organizers and volunteers of this conference wa jazakumullahu khair wa assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Sheikh Hussein Yee from Malaysia Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alhamdulillah. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam remind us, Rajulah tahabba fillahi ijtima'an alayhi wa tafarraqa alayhi. If the Muslim meet for the sake of Allah, and they are going to depart for the sake of Allah, then Allah will give us the shaykh in yawm al-qiyamah. On the behalf of me and my people, we wish to thank all the organizing committees, especially to Dr. Zakir Naik, who have conducted this 10 days conference that will enrich us with the knowledge of Islam. We would like to pray, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive all our sins, inshallah. Amen. And also, may Allah strengthen our iman. 
and we love you for the sake of Allah. What are you going to say? You must say that we love you too for the sake of Allah. I say it again. We love you for the sake of Allah. May Allah bless us. May Allah bless us. May Allah forgive all our sin. The sin of our parent who died as a Muslim. Amin. Ya Rabbil Alamin. Wa billahi tawfiqi wal akhri da'wana. Walhamdulillahi Rabbil Alamin. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum wa salam wa rahim. We just have Sheikh Ali al-Abbasi, Imam Masjid al-Aqsa also present on the stage. May I also mention that amongst our speakers who have left but they have given their regards is Dr. Jamal Badawi of Canada, Dr. Mamdu Muhammad of USA, Dr. Lawrence Brown of USA, Brother Amar Amonet of USA, and Brother Anwar Ibrahim, the Deputy Prime Minister of Malaysia and present leader of the opposition in Malaysian Parliament. They have given their regard. And the lastly, we had a very emotional Brother Zain Bika also had left. Uh, he's from South Africa who has given our regards to the whole conference. May I have the next speaker, Sheikh Salim Al Amri from UAE, present his comments to you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salam ala rasulillah, wa ala alihi, wa sahbihi, wa man wala, wa man attaba hudahi la yawmuddin. My dear brothers and sisters in Islam, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept our efforts. May Allah accept the efforts of the organizers. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala unite our hearts upon the truth. Amen. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he mentioned in an authentic hadith, Al-Jama'atu Rahma wal-Furqatu Adab. Togetherness and the unity is a mercy from Allah, and division and disunity is a punishment from Allah. And you have been experiencing this beautiful feeling, the feeling of brotherhood, the warmth of the brotherhood. This is because this is the barakah of the togetherness. My dear brothers and sisters in Islam, remember that the unity is a mercy. So strive hard to bring and bridge the gap between the Muslims. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala unite the hearts of all the Muslims on the truth. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Sheikh Saeed Rage from Somalia. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Two quick points that I would like to mention. One, based on the hadith of Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, when he said, Man la yashkur nas, la yashkur Allah. Whosoever is not grateful to the people, he is indeed not grateful to Allah. Here, I'd like to state my gratitude and thank you for brothers and sisters who invited me. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward you for the beautiful way that you host us. Second, Due to what I see, the presence of people, the organizations, it shows the presence of ikhlas amongst the community here. And it only needs one person to carry the torch. And in this city, in this country, we have Dr. Zakir Nai. My advice to you is, you stay under him, follow his leadership, and be idnillah, you will be guided. Jazakumullah khair. Sheikh Asim al from Saudi Arabia. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم وبارك على المبعوث رحمة للعالمين نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين. First of all, we have a lot of distinguished speakers. They are people of knowledge, and the knowledge that they have brought with them to this conference, to the TV talks, to the public talks, are knowledge that Allah will ask you about on the Day of Judgment. If you apply it, if you implement it to your life, you will become a better human being. And you will become among those preferred and chosen by Allah to His Paradise. Therefore, I call you and I call myself to do what the scholars have taught us from the Qur'an and from the Sunnah, and if we have any, something that we do not understand, to refer back to the scholars and ask them for clarifications. And secondly and finally, I'd like to thank Allah the Almighty that He has gathered us in this blessed place and 
I'd like also to thank the volunteers, whom without their efforts, this congregation would not have taken place. For may Allah, the Almighty, yujzihim al-khayr fi dunya wa fi al-akhirah. Wassalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Sheikh Yusuf Etzes from USA. Bismillah, alhamdulillah. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Take it easy. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> Allah tells us in the Quran that we are umatan wasatan. What is wasta? To be in the middle path. So I want to leave you with this. Let's stay in the middle path. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he said about iman, about faith, that you will not attain a real iman until you love each other for the sake of Allah, to the extent you prefer the needs of your brother over your own needs. So look to your brother in a good way, take care of each other until we can be together again. And by the way, all of these great speakers here, they're really my teachers. I'm just out here having fun with you guys. But you know what? I wish and pray that you will stay with Peace TV and watch the things that are coming up next. Dr. Zakarbai has got a lot of things in store. Make du'a for him, make du'a for his family, and make du'a for all of the shuyukh here. And we're making du'a for you. May Allah always guide you. Allah always protect you. Allah raise you up with the most righteous of people on the Day of Judgment and bring us all together in his Jannah. Until then, salam alaikum. Salam. <laughs>